Today, we're going to take a first look at Azure Better Together and how it can help us throughout the entire journey of our applications from designing, architecting, planning, figuring out related services that are commonly deployed alongside apps that are similar to ours, to diagnosing issues and finding action steps to take and resolve those issues. And finally, deploying fully associated services with our applications with just a couple of clicks. So there's plenty to dive into, so let's get to it. All right, so let's first take a look at Better Together Azure Copilot. So I've got my web app open here. This is the Azure portal. And on the top right, we have a Copilot button here. I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna start asking some questions. Let's ask what services are typically deployed alongside apps like mine. All right. And let's give it a moment to provide an answer for us. It says it's working on it, determining what to do. And we should shortly see a list of services. All right. So we have SQL database. It says here that 58% of app service customers like you have the service. Additionally, we have application insights recommended for you based on your preferences shared by similar customers. Each one of these also gives us the option to go to create page, get more info here. And we also have a defender for app service, 42,000 app service customers like you have this service and these recommendations are continuously evolving and you'll see more and more with new releases of Better Together Azure Copilot. We all know that when we're trying to figure out what is going on with our app, having as much information as possible is gonna be very helpful, but this can also become overwhelming. So let's take a look at how Better Together is improving the diagnose and solve experience our applications. On the left side, we're going to select diagnose and solve problems. We have a couple of troubleshooting categories. We're going to select one under the availability and performance category. Let's click on web app slow. Then we're going to see a lot of diagnostic information related to why our web app could potentially be slower than expected. Here we see some code optimizations recommendations. Additionally, we see some observations and solutions like high CPU analysis, slow request execution, and more. But for this video, we're going to focus on those code optimizations. So let's select that. And here, just as expected from the name, we're going to get a bunch of optimizations that we can make in our code to improve performance. As an example, a lot of CPU or memory is being spent in this ienumerable.to list. It provides the current condition and recommendations so you can go ahead and improve the performance of your app. So if you've ever deployed anything in the Azure portal, you know that it can quickly get a little overwhelming, tedious, and time consuming. So with Better Together Post Create, we have set on the mission to improving and simplifying that experience. All right, so let's take a look at Better Together Post Create. Once again, I've got my app open here in the Azure portal. And on the left side, we can see displayed Better Together. So we're gonna click on that. And here we have a list of Azure services. And you can see here, it's telling us, you can deploy these commonly used services with your app. At the moment, Azure Cache for Redis, Defender for App Service, Azure Front Door, and Azure Load Testing. This list will continue to evolve as Better Together has new releases. So stay tuned for that. For this video, we're gonna create an instance of Azure Cache for Redis. So I'm gonna click on that Create button. I'm gonna provide a name. We're gonna call this Demo VT Cache. And I'm gonna switch the SKU to basic. Now we can already see that this create experience is significantly simplified. Oh, this doesn't look like it's available. Let's type in maybe Redis. 
Will that work? Like I was saying, we can tell that this experience is significantly simplified compared to a full create experience, something that you're most likely familiar with if you've deployed or created things in the Azure portal before. However, if you do need to go to that full create experience, there's always going to be a link here for you to do that. So for now, I'm going to hit create and give better together a couple of minutes to finish the deployment. Awesome. It looks like our deployment is complete. I'm going to click on go to resource and we do see that it's been created in the correct resource group. Great. Additionally, we're going to click on memory usage and see that we don't have any activity here quite yet, but let's dive into our code and visual studio and get everything wired up. I've fired up GitHub Copilot chat here and I'm going to use it to help me configure Redis here. So I'm going to ask it. I need to add Azure Cache for Redis to my app. Please, always got to add please in there. Show me how to configure it in my, and then I'm going to reference my program, program.cs. I'm going to hit enter here. And I'm just going to zoom in here so you can take a look at the prompt that I'm leveraging. Alrighty, so it tells us that we're gonna to need to add a package. We're gonna to need to add a connection string, which I did copy from the portal, awesome. We're gonna to have to add that to our app settings.json. Then we're going to need to add in our program.cs a couple of lines. And then it shows us what our program.cs could end up looking like. Awesome, so off screen, gonna go ahead and add this connection string to my app settings, so I'll be right back. Oh, great. So let's add this service. I'm going to copy this, add it in here. Also added the package while off screen. So it looks like that's all in terms of configuring it in our program.cs. Great. So I'm just going to save all and do a quick build and see if we have any errors. No errors there at all. Great. So now let's move into implementing some really simple caching functionality into one of our controllers. Great, so just so you have an idea of what this demo app actually does, it's pretty straightforward really. Building a URL shortener, I provide a URL, it shortens it and redirects it. All right, so I'm gonna open. So I've got Swagger loaded up here, going to try out our uh, root get method here, hit execute, and you can see that we are returned a list of URLs, pretty straightforward. Back in the controller, I'm going to select the get method. And once again, let's ask Copilot. Help me implement a simple cache here. When the method is called, look for the URLs in the cache. If they are not there, get them from the database and save to cache using Azure cache for Redis, which we just configured in the program.cs. All right, so that should give us uh, a pretty simple implementation of cache here. And it looks like we need to inject some things, which makes sense here. And then it is making, well, creating the rest of the suggestion. So it says, it's gonna look in the cache, if it's not there. Get them from the database and then save to cache. Let's copy it one by one. I wanna avoid any formatting issues. And we need to update the constructor. So we're gonna go ahead and Place that. And then the rest here, I'm just going to copy. And there we go. And here. Looks good. All right. So let's do a five. And see if it works. We'll do F11 full screen. And we will hit try it out, execute and it does return, we will just uh, execute it a couple times actually. All right, back inside of the Azure portal and we see already some data coming in here. 
And just with a couple of clicks, we were able to deploy Azure Cache for Redis, fully associated with our application, thanks to Better Together Post Create. And with a couple of lines of configuration and editing our get uh, method there in our Visual Studio, thanks to GitHub Copilot chat, we were able to get all of that wired up. And this was just a quick first look at Better Together in Azure. There is so much more to come, so be sure to check out all the resources and links in the description. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with everything that we have to share with you on the new releases of Better Together. See you in the next one.